So let's say I wanted to find the first four terms of 8 plus 6x to the third and state for which values of x it is valid. So the first thing that I would notice is that 8 plus 6x to the power of a third is not of the form 1 plus or 1 minus. So I'm going to need to factor that 8 out. So if I do it into a single bracket first, I'd have 1 plus, then 8 lots of, well, I'm dividing that 6x by 8 here. So 6 over 8, so I could write that as 6 over 8 for the moment, and I'll simplify it in a bit. So then I'm going to have 8 to the power of a third, which is just 2, times 1 plus, now we can simplify that to 3 quarters, x to the power of a third. OK, so that's what I want to expand here. So I can take that 2 outside of a big bracket and then expand 1 plus 3 quarters x to the third using the formula. So we've got 1 plus n times x. So n is a third times by x, which is 3 quarters x, plus n times n minus 1, so 1 third times n minus 1. So 1 third, take away 1, okay, which is going to be minus 2 thirds, divided by 2 factorial, times by x squared. Now the x is being replaced with 3 quarters x, so 3 quarters x squared, plus the next term, okay, the fourth term, is n times n minus 1, so minus 2 thirds, take away another 1, okay, because we want n minus 2. So we're going to have to have five, uh, minus 5 thirds, okay, all over 3 factorial times x cubed, so that's 3 quarters x cubed, plus other terms, okay, and then close the bracket. So we've got all of this to simplify. OK, so let's leave the 2 there for the moment. And then I'm going to have 1 plus 1 third times 3 quarters is just a quarter. X plus. OK, so now uh, I'm going to need to work this out. So I've got 1 third times by minus 2 thirds divided by 2 factorial, so 1 times 2, times by 3 quarters squared. And that gets me minus a sixteenth x squared. OK, now the next one, we have uh, 1 third times by minus 2 thirds times by minus 5 thirds divided by 3 factorial, so 1 times 2 times 3, times 3 quarters uh, cubed this time, and we get 5 over 192 uh, x cubed plus other terms, okay? And then we finally need to multiply all of these by 2, so we get 2 lots of 1, we get 2 lots of a quarter, so a half x, and then 2 lots of minus a sixteenth is minus an eighth x squared. And then we've got 2 lots of 5 over 192, which is 5 over 96, because uh, 2 lots of 96 is 192, x cubed, and then you've got the other terms. Okay? So, that is the expansion. That's the first four terms of this expansion. We then need to state the values of x for which it is valid. OK, so this is what uh, 1 plus x to the n is valid for. So the x here has been replaced with 3 quarters x. So this is valid for 3 quarters x modded is less than 1. But you don't want to finish writing it like that. You want to write it as mod x is less than what? So you would divide both sides by 3 quarters or multiply both sides by 4 thirds, whichever you prefer. And so that is, uh, th that's the va these are the values of x for which it is valued. It's valid between minus 4 thirds and positive 4 thirds, okay? And so there is the expansion and the range of validity.